we got a fantastic one for y'all today we're going to be changing out the axle on the 2018 chevy traverse very simple process i'm going to go ahead and walk y'all through it step by step really really easy get your axle nut on here and we're going to break this one loose 36 millimeter axle nut I'm going to put it on my impact, see if it's strong enough. One more try. It's too tight, so I'm going to show you a different method to get it off. Now, this is going to be a super, super duper hack. For all of you that are having a really tough time getting off these axle nuts, we got the gooseneck. What I want to do is, you're going to set this in between your studs. Okay? You're going to position the breaker bar right against the floor. So as I rotate this kind of clockwise, it's against the floor. These things can be super stubborn. And sometimes you need a little extra leverage. <sighs> now I'm using this breaker bar to give me maximum leverage. You can lift with your, uh, your legs. <sighs> And there you have it. That is the hack to getting off the axle nut. Really easy. And it doesn't damage anything. Next, we're going to take off the rotor and the caliper as a whole assembly. This is a new hack for all you guys out here who are about to replace an axle. Don't feel like taking off the brakes separate from the rotor. You can take them all off together. All you're going to need to do is get you this 21 millimeter. Come right around here. Take off this 21 millimeter. And this 21 millimeter right down there. Once you take off those two, this whole piece will come off as an assembly and you'll be exposing everything. I got another hack for all you DIYers and mobile mechanics out there that's going to make your job quicker. This here is the AC Delco Ratchet Wrench. Automatic. Has about 60, 60 foot pounds of pressure. This thing's going to get a lot of stuff off very easy for you. A lot stronger than your other ones. And I have tried many of them. Makes quick work of the job. And it's just tough. Also, it has components that you can actually rebuild this. So you buy it once and you got a lifetime tool. After getting your caliper off, you got you a nice set of bungee cords. So I'm going to put two bungee cords. We're going to wrap this around the caliper and put her on a strut spring. Now she'll hang there and we won't have a lot of issues. So it can star key set. It's proven to be pretty durable for the uses that I've used it with. And it gets the job done real easy. So the last steps here is you're going to want to take off 
this bolt and this bolt. Now, these bolts go in this way. Now, as you can see, on one side of the bolt, it's like this, which would be on this side, 18 millimeter. You'll get it off on this side and you'll leave it, you'll put it back on slightly just so you can hammer it back out this way. The importance in that is you see these ridges here, these ridges kind of bite into it. So you'll have to hammer them out that way. Once out of tie rod, you'll release it from the knuckle. You'll move it off to the side. After that, your whole knuckle will be pretty much loose. Now you want to take a rubber mallet to bang in the axle, which would be in the middle. But in this case, we're replacing the axle. So I'm not too worried about damaging the threads on this axle. All right. So, now that we got that off, we can go ahead and continue with the removal of the axle. I actually have my brake caliper sitting on the concrete because it has plenty of room, there's plenty of slack, it's not super tight. So in some cases, you can just grab this axle and yank it out. So we'll probably go underneath, use some kind of pry bar fork to pop it back out. Pop the other one in super quick. Look at these. This thing needs to sit flush. There it is. And you'll feel it each time going further and further. You see, as I try to rotate it, it's locked in, it won't spin. That's what you're looking for. All right, now we can go back, reassemble, and start putting this thing back together and that's all there is to doing the 2015 through 2020 traverse axle make sure that y'all like and subscribe to the channel if y'all have any questions drop them in the comments below follow us on tiktok under budo mobile repair service instagram check out our google our facebook we got tons of videos tons of content pictures if you have any issues near the dallas metroplex make sure that you hit us up we'll come out to you and get it done for a rare, very very reasonable price so until the next video you guys we really appreciate y'all for supporting the channel and watching